If you are a working professional planning to change your track to management world, or maybe if you are an MBA aspirant planning to get into MBA, maybe this or the next year, probably this is the right video for you to look at. Hi everyone, I am Udit Bagmode, MBA graduate from Anand Ahmedabad and consultant by profession. I spent up almost four years in consulting in companies like PwC and AT Kearney, and I'm currently working with a startup in the strategy domain. In this video, we are going to talk about the most exciting career paths that people can take after their MBA in India. We'll be talking about these paths in brief. I'll cover in detail each of the paths in the coming videos that I'll be bringing in next few weeks. But in this video, I'll just cover all of them in short to give you a guess of what are the paths you can take after your MBA. Let's start with the first. The first is the most fabulous, the most attractive, and the most popular career choice that most of the MBA graduates choose after their MBA in India, management consulting. I'll call it not just management consulting, but overall consulting as such. What is first of all consulting? You're working with a company, that company serves a client, that client can be an organization, that client can be a company, that com uh, client can be a government or even a HNI. They have certain complex problems they want to solve. The problem is obviously related to business and your company, your consulting company gets into that role of uh, rolling up their sleeves and trying to solve that problem from scratch. You're working as a consultant solving that problem. Now these problems can be as simple as like, for example, the organization is not doing profits, they are going through a significant losses, or they are not able to understand which market to enter into and they're just exploring opportunities to grow further, or maybe they're trying to uh, overall the entire organization structure and trying to make it more efficient and a lot others. So as a consultant, you're solving those tough problems. You're solving those critical problems, probably for which there is no solution directly available with the client company. That is consulting. Now, why it is supposed to be the most attractive job? Because obviously uh, it gives you opportunity to sharpen all the skills you've learned in your MBA, be it stakeholder management, communication, applying all the frameworks and strategy, finance, marketing to solve the company's problem, and obviously be a better professional. It's like a postdoc after your MBA. So it is one of the most attractive options, and obviously it pays you really well when it comes to MBA in India and even across world. So consulting is by far the most popular choice among all the MBA graduates. Now let's come to another most popular choice among graduates in India, finance. Now finance has a lot of subfields into it. It has innovation banking, it has corporate banking, it has wealth management, it has relationship management and a lot of other things. But the most popular and probably the most niche field, which pays you really well, which gives you really good opportunity to learn about finance is investment banking. Imagine you're working with a company like Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan and your work is basically helping companies do deal among themselves. Maybe one company is buying another company, you're helping that entire transaction. Maybe another startup is trying to go uh, public through an IPO and you're helping them going for an IPO. Some companies trying to raise money in the public markets or equity markets or debt markets and you're helping them raise that money. Or maybe you're trying to help some other company go into the market and look for some of the target acquisition. A lot of other such problem statements. You're working on these problem statements. Now these problem statements involve only one thing, finance and credit, right? You're trying to deal with how much money you can earn from the particular deal and what are the benefits for the client, how can that entire transaction work smoothly from all the perspectives. That is where the investment banking career has come into picture. So again, this is one of the most attractive uh, job profiles across all the top IMs. It pays you really, really well. I mean, if I talk about the pay across all the domains, probably finance is the most and the highest paid sector in all sectors I'm going to talk today. But I'm talking only about investment banking now. Apart from that, there are roles like corporate banking, where you're working with companies like HDFC, uh, SBI, and a lot of other banks who deal with retail sector banking or maybe a corporate sector banking. You're working as a relationship manager. Uh, then you're working as a wealth manager, you're working as a fund manager, managing the huge portfolio of fund of HNIs and all and investing on behalf of them. That is another attractive value option. So finance is second. Coming to the third, again, recently this particular sector has got a lot of attention is product management. Since the time we have seen a huge growth in technology, companies like Facebook, Google, Amazon have got a huge importance in their daily lives. 
whenever we are uh, online on any media like for example you are working on mobile or laptop we are always using some tech product and for each of the tech products there are multiple product managers working behind it this product managers are like a mini ceo of these products they decide everything about product what is the customer experience what is the design what is the customer journey what is the payment policy what are the terms and conditions how does the entire app look like what are the things i should optimize to make the entire app experience optimistic what should be the tech behind it and lot of other things so product management is the field where you get experience to be a ceo of that particular product and make decisions to give you customers a better experience about your application it is one of the rapidly growing fields and it is one of the best way to get into any tech product company nowadays coming to the fourth and probably the most traditional yet an attractive option for a lot of mba graduates in india it's sales and marketing now sales and marketing is a big name as such it has multiple roles into it sales and marketing itself are very different again the role of sales and marketing varies a lot on the type of company you are working with whether you are working into b2c company or you are working into b2b company you are working into product company manufacturing company or you working into service industry a lot depends on it but as the name says you are supposed to drive the sales you are supposed to be the person who is marketing for the respective company recently because of the tech improvement a new field called digital marketing has come in and digital marketing is completely new gamut altogether which was not existent probably 10 15 years back and digital marketing is now gaining a lot of importance and probably it's becoming even more important in the traditional ways of marketing uh, in the recent part okay now coming to the fifth and another important career option and this career option is into it and analytics see we have seen a lot of iims now offering mba programs in analytics and given that the importance of data is increasing in our lives every day we are creating a data in gigabytes every day each one of us and this data is telling us a lot of important insights that companies can help them make their decisions so importance of analytics is growing every day and with this importance companies are coming with very innovative roles where you are supposed to do a lot with data become a data scientist or become become an analyst person and who is understanding this data data trends and making better decisions about company strategies so this it and analytics roles are coming up a lot nowadays and a lot of companies are preferring hiring people for having understanding of business as well as some technology understanding like analytics or data science so this is one of the most booming fields and a lot of new companies particularly it service companies or even product companies or even consulting companies like mckinsey bcg bain and ecron they have started hiring for analytics roles and it is getting a lot of importance now this i'll come to the sixth probably not so well known in top ips but still one of the most important uh, functions where people land up a job and it is really good and rewarding job is hr i mean we always think that hr job is one of the most simplest job right but believe me it is not as simple as that when it comes to managing people imagine a company like tcs where you know your blacks of employees working into a company like tcs managing all of them managing their roster managing their performance hiring them retaining them probably providing incentives to all of them their payroll management their exit management learning and development and lot of other things just imagine how huge that work will be now this work is not just simple operations this work is also creating strategies about employee management this all comes under hr hr is one of the most rewarding jobs one of the most attractive jobs when it comes to understanding people management when it comes to learning people management if you're working in a factory setup you have a different gamut of challenges that probably hr in a service company will never experience you're working with blue collar work unions so hr is one of the most challenging field and obviously one of the most attractive and rewarding careers that you can explore after your mba now i'll come to the seventh job i mean probably this is the profile where you do everything that doesn't come under all the profiles i explained now this is operations operations is something when you do procurement you do supply chain management you do logistics and also you do everything that is not covered in consulting finance it product management or blah blah lot of other things everything that is required for an organization to run smoothly that comes into operations so operations is one of the most interesting fields and with the advent of technology with the 
incoming analytics tools and a lot of other technology innovations this operations is becoming way easy way more convenient but still operation excellence is one of the most interesting field to work nowadays and that is where most of the mba graduates are required and probably the last field which is not a field actually but it is a career track that a lot of you can actually explore after your mba and that is general management i mean general management role is offered by a lot of conglomerates in india or even a lot of big businesses for example tatas birlas mahindra vedanta and a uh, lot of other conglomerates in india they offer general management tracks general management track is simply like you know you get into organization as a general management trainee you'll be working in an organization across any of the problem statement that organization offers you it can be a internal consulting problem statement it can be a financial problem statement or maybe a finance role it can be it and analytics role it can be an operations role it can be about your uh, sales and marketing role it can be about hr role or it can be anything that an organization requires in a management role so if you want to experience all of the career paths that i mentioned from 1 to 7 in one role probably general management is the best fit for you there are popular tracks like for example tata has tata administrative service aditya birla has aditya birla group leadership program then mahindra has group management cadre uh, probably a lot of other companies like reliance for example has a reliance emerging leaders program a lot of big companies have their own management trainees path where they groom b school graduates to a future leaders and that is where biggest learnings again lies because you can explore any of the group company under these groups you can explore any of the role that are under these companies across different domains and you can learn everything that's possible so these are the career paths they can undertake after your mba after choosing your career into management in india and i told all these career paths from the perspective that you are getting into top b schools like for example iims probably if you go to uh, schools which are non iims or tier 2 or tier 3 mba colleges the mix of the roles will remain but the attractiveness of roles will decrease for some of the roles for example consulting and finance are most attractive career options in am ahmedabad bangalore calcutta probably indore kozhikode and lucknow as well but if you go to tier 2 non iim colleges probably operations sales and marketing will be attractive career options because payment or the roles that are offered to those colleges for the sales and marketing domain might be very attractive in sales and marketing not in consulting many of the top brands in finance or consulting are not visiting those colleges so the attractiveness of the role that is offered in particular college depends on the college you are getting into but at the end if you look at an overall management education in india and the career opportunities after management you will see that consulting and finance are the most popular one product management is the most rising one sales and marketing operations are the traditional roles but they are getting more efficient with the technology it and analytics is getting a lot of popularity and obviously hr are the most important people managing everything that is within the organization so that's about career options after mba thank you so much see you in another video all the best